good morning. <laughs> Not sure if it's a bit dark here. Um, I was finishing with the day six vlog yesterday. Not sure if you guys have watched it. I put the link right here so you can check check it out. Uh, it talks about all the issues that you will face when you slap on the eleven chain and the benefits, of course. Um, so a lot of uh, it's been six days. So yesterday was the sixth day. Today is the seventh day of my daily vlog. Uh, if you're watching this for the first one, this is supposed to be a vlog. that record what I do. Uh, what it's supposed to record what I do with the Brompton every day. So uh, it's a, it's a, it's an assignment. It's a challenge that I put to myself for 30 days in a row. Um, I got some house guests here. They asked me, "Hey Pete, why are you doing this? Why you why you why are you doing this 30 day vlog?" It's actually quite a bit of stress for me. Um, prior to this vlog, I had very limited experience with editing videos. Uh, but we under a lockdown, we have a lot of time. We can learn a lot of stuff. Um, I uh, have a bit of experience with the Brompton, so this is something that I like to talk about, that I like to do about. So I want to record this. Uh, it's going to be my be part of my history. So uh, later in my life, I can look back. Hey, I've done this. This is like an achievement. Anyway, too much of that. So last night I finished quite late. Yesterday was very stressful because literally the day five and the day six vlog were done within the same day. So the day five was uploaded very, very late uh, due to some technical issues. So uh, very stiff, but keep going. But what's happening with me every morning is when I wake up, I will come to my work desk. My work desk is actually in my garage. I guess many of you would have known already. So the part that I'm at now is my computer part. And we're moving on would be the working bench where I do all the bolts and nuts and all the stuff. And then it will be my little bike workstation next to it. So it's like one, two, three, three different parts. Um, sometimes when I finish really late at night, I will um, just leave everything on the table. Wake it. It's going to be so messy. So when I wake up in the morning, um, I will try to clean it up before I move on to the next one. So um, today I have a very tight schedule as well. Um, uh, I met a friend over the I met a new friend over the weekend riding with the Brompton the Brisbane Br Brompton group Paul I think you guys seen him as well like you can check out this link for the, the for, for the video it's it's actually my first time riding with the Brompton Brisbane the, the Brisbane Brompton Club uh, met some nice people here so um, he got some issues like that well, he was having with the, his suspension so I want to go to help him to solve it so I'll be riding to him later in the afternoon it's like uh, 10 10 o'clock now uh, so I'm gonna clean up my place get something ready and we're gonna move on the day so these are some of my spare spare chains um, when I say spare chains they're all, they're all very, very short, just like this. Um, I, I do keep all the chains that I cut out. When I used to, um, when I was having my shop in Singapore, um, all the chains that I cut out, I would genuinely keep them because you will never know when people are gonna come back and they need to extend the chain and needed a few links from, from here. Um, so I always keep them. They are always, you always have use with them. So even small like this, I still keep, keep them. Sometimes I even keep one link and it saves a lot of life sometimes <clears throat> so if you're upgrading or downgrade um if you're changing your chain get a new one and cut them short do keep the spare ones one day you might want to slot on a bigger chain ring and put a few links into it ah oh, and one more thing if you actually have if you actually have done enough you will have something like this let me show you See this chain here? I'm not sure if you can see it with all the lightings and everything. Um, it's it's a KMC 11 speed um, KMC 11 the diamond coal co coating DLC chain. So uh, I used to I sold a lot of red with black combinations and some black with black. And each time each chain I would cut about eight eight links to ten links. These are the leftovers, right? And I use all the leftovers to build one chain. Uh, so there is how many? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven. There was, this is like seven leftover chains from seven different leftover jobs. So uh, I know it is un unrecommended to have so many reconnect links. Uh, every time you reconnect something, it causes some issues. You are taking on some risk. So I have like seven, eight times the risk as everyone else now. This is long enough for one bike build. So, but I haven't been onto building a red and black theme bike yet. But I will soon. When I when I do that, I will slot this onto my bike. It's usually quite quiet here in the morning. My kids went to school, so um. What happened what I, um, during this uh, 30 day of uh, Brompton flocking time, I, I would I actually drop up what I want to, uh, what I want to go over uh, a day or two beforehand. So uh, genuinely I know what will be happening. I don't wake up in the morning and feeling like there's nothing. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But I always know what I'm going to do for, for the day. It's just whether the video will turn out very well. There are one or two days uh, that the video didn't turn out and I have to do an emergency recording for the next ones. Yeah, so there are some complications, but most of the time are uh, just going fine. Yeah. So while I was making the 11 speed chain vlog yesterday, I had to remove the sparklet from my from one of my existing bike just to show you guys what's happening. Now I have to put it back and stick it back onto my bike. All the sparklets on my bike were um, non Bromptons. Um, I do have the Brompton original, there's nothing wrong with them, they are pretty strong and stiff. I just prefer the 11 speed version of the sparklet. Um, to slot onto my bike, so uh, I just feel they shift better when they shift. It produces less sound and it's just more efficient to shift. Um, I, I do. You will need to modify um, if you if you pull out the sparklet from the uh, from the Shimano cassette, right? The 11 speed, 12 speed, the fastest two. Uh, the shape is not like that that flat of a sparklet. You will have to modify it a little bit in order to get it everything working. But all mine were done. Yeah. The other one done, but messed up the first one. See, sometimes when you do something so many times, you can still get it wrong. Um, I forgot to put this plate back on solid back in so sometimes I have a lot of people ask me hey Pete what is happening with this little black plate here so um, this actually comes with your Brom Brompton and if you buy a replacement sparklet set from from the Bromptons it will give you one of it as well if you're running on a two-speed and a six-speed so what does it do this actually appears on all the bike bicycle on your bike not all, not the most expensive one, they don't give you this. What it does is, it stops the chain, uh, when you shift to the bigger sparklet, the slower gear, it stops the chain from dropping into the hub. So basically it's a barrier to, to, to make sure everything goes right. So, but some people think this is ugly, right? Um, especially on the bigger, in a bigger wheel size bike, this plate is massive and it looks horrible. So you will never see them on any of the racing bike, but the cheaper ones, the entrance grade for everyday riding, they always have this. And Brompton got one of these. But cool, I mean Brompton ones, it's not so big, so you can keep, keep it. But if you do uh, want to remove it, there's some thickness to it. There's like about one mm of thickness. So if you want to get rid of it, you have to put in a one mm spacer just to fill up the gap. Otherwise your, your sparklet is going to be having a lot of free play around. Yeah, I just put back the two speed wheel onto the hub. As you can see, I'm using the original, original Brompton two speed hub and together with the Azuri wider rims. Um, this is the best rim that I have ever seen. So I love that rim. Uh, literally all my bikes are on that now. 
um, my choice for this particular bike is using the original two-speed hub. Why? Because it's like super quiet. Not the lightest in the world, uh, but I did something to it, so it's pretty light now. Uh, I, I just like how it is being like super quiet riding around rather than a lot of TikTok, TikTok sound. So good stuff. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get ready, pick up my stuff, and I'm gonna see Paul soon. Ah, the Mitsubura suspension block. Something good for Paul. Just arrived at Paul's place. Let me give him a call now. Paul, Hello? Paul, Paul, yes? it's Peter. Can I help? It's Pete. I arrived. Pete? Yeah, Peter. Yeah, Peter, how are you? I'm good, you're cycling me. I'm bringing you your stuff. What? I'm bringing you your stuff. Oh, you yeah. here already? Yes, I just got here. I was riding my bike. So where do I meet you? Are you on G Street? Yes, yes, yes. I am outside this cold. Cold oh, number. Get you. Okay, thanks, cheers. Uh, he doesn't know who I am, but he's coming down to fetch me. Uh, the last ride that I ran out of Paul, I saw his suspension block was fully compressed. So the, the, the suspension board was actually sticking out at the rear end. So I told him he needed a firmer block. So I was bringing the Mizumura to him and let him try it out and see how it goes with him. It took us a very short time to replace it. It's very easy to replace. Uh, we had some sound issues, the creaking sound from the spring from the, of the brooks as well. Yeah. We squeezed a little bit of oil there. Hopefully it will be gone. Uh, let's see if we have time, if we have time to go downstairs to have it, have a try it out and see if it works for him. Apparently Paul has a little bit of uh, back issues when he was using the suspension block that was too hard. Hope this one will work for him because this one is hard. Yeah. Yeah, hard. Uh, yeah, man. Let's so see. now I got three suspension blocks. The original yeah. hard and a softer one I bought in New York. And this apparently is even harder than the Brompton hard. The original one I got with the Bronson. So we'll see how it goes. But this looks like a better quality one. So it might actually do okay with my back. Yeah, I actually gave him a free try it out. So if it doesn't work, I'm going to take it back. But he's going to buy me a McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. So we did how many km? It's quite short, like three? Uh, uh, probably maybe a K and a half, two Ks. Uh, okay, so two KM. So with Paul trying the new suspension block. How do you feel, Paul? It's very stiff, a lot more stiffer than uh, what I had on. Uh, I had the soft uh, Brompton. Yeah. Um, I like it. I like it very much, actually. So even for the short distance? For the short distance, is, yeah. Is it more efficient or? Um, I felt it go faster. Okay. I felt it go faster, like, uh, uh, at the start of our ride? Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And coming down that slam, yep. it right. was really fast. All right, because the old one that he had um, during my last ride with him, it was like all squashed up and the, the suspension bolt was poking out the rear end. So I thought it was too soft for him. So I recommended this one for him. I hope it works well for him. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, so far I'm going to give it a go. I've seen them on the internet before. Yep. I've, I've always wanted one, so. So ride more. Try to do the slopes, the heels. Yeah. It feels even better. Really? Yeah. Well, there is one right oh over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to complete this. I have the hat home. Yeah. So you're going to lead, lead my way for a yeah. bit at least. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. All right, man. Okay. Let's I'll go. I'll take you to the news stand.